2022 Jeep Wrangler. It's a 2021. Why are you pointing the camera this way? We can't let them see the magnificence of this video's topic yet. Oh, I thought it was because you wanted to see the brilliance of the sunshine on our faces. Well, that too. Let's spin them around this way. Don't get sick. Today, we are reviewing the 2021 JL Jeep Wrangler in Tuscadero Pearl, which we ordered from the factory, because I don't know where else you can't order it on Amazon. No, <laughs> maybe you could order the paint color and then, you know, take the paintbrush and paint in. So here we go. Let's start the review on the JL, which started in 2018 Jeep Wrangler. We'll show you the options that we got, which will take about three seconds. Uh, we'll tell you why we got those options. Some of the options that are available. We'll walk you through the whole thing in true turn five fashion. Get ready, buckle up, because here comes a semi-factual automotive car review. Ha-ha! Got him! Voila! Just like that. This is a fun way to get into an engine bay. You got the two clasps on the side. I mean, you are really living the Jeep lifestyle, which is something I did not understand until we got this. What are we looking at here, Tyler? We're looking at a 3.6 liter V6 engine that is used in many of the products that Jeep makes. What do you got? You got uh, a Jeep Wrangler, you got a Jeep Grand Cherokee, you got uh, Elon Musk's uh, space shuttle, you got a, na a Navy submarine, you got um, a fighter jet, and, and the world's biggest uh, cargo carrier. They all use this engine. So it's basically uh, just the standard engine that you put in everything. Yep, it has 285 horsepower and it can pull 3,500 pounds. What else about this engine? It's clean. <laughs> well, I don't think you have a thousand miles on this yet. <laughs> um, it's pretty clean. I would say workability, turn five workability. We could do a few things with it. It would be um, a little difficult. You can get to the spark plugs and the everything pretty easily, it looks like, but it's not gonna be as easy as, let's say, the Miata. That is true. So 3.6 liter V6, 200, what do you say, 285? Yep. 285 horsepower. It goes really well. The throttle's really responsive. It has a lot of power. Uh, you can get this specific one in a four cylinder as well. I would opt away from that, even though you could save somewhere like twelve to $1,500. Get the 3.6 liter V6. You're gonna have a lot of fun with it. Here's how easy it is to close this. I mean, and fun, right? Bam, down, one side, two sides. There it is. Let's walk around to the back. You know what's next? Well, obviously, the Tyler capacity. All right, let's see how many Tylers would fit in the back of a Jeep Wrangler. It's a little awkward. You gotta kind of like... Well, we'll talk about the oh, soft no. top next. I made it. So you're solidly in there. Oh, it, yeah. Is that a true two Tyler trunk? Yeah, easy. It's a triple T. Yes. Two Tyler trunk. Easy, no problem. And if you want to stack a few of me up, I could easily be four of me in here. All right, we got the four Tyler. That's a pretty good rating. Now, if you swing over to here, you got this cool uh, placard that comes on Jeep Wranglers. And let me zoom in here. You got things like uh, numbers and numbers and height stuff. You get where it's developed, where it's built, Toledo, Ohio since 1941. Now Tyler, come on out here. I'm sorry, I'm just remembering how semi-factual we are. You brought up a good point. Hold this camera. Okay. So on our Wrangler, we got the soft top. Yep. You can get a hard top. The reason why we got the soft top is because I like, stand back a little bit. Okay. I like that there's a little geometry up here. 
it's different than any other. No one has soft top Wranglers. Right? So uh, it's fairly easy. We're not going to go into it in this video to take the top off and fold it back and make it convertible. Uh, we'll do another video about that someday, but you basically take this back panel off the two sides and then it just comes down like a regular convertible. You want to show them what we got on the inside? Yeah. Before we do that, look at the special edition or limited edition color. Tuscadero Pearl. The one that you're looking at is the first Tuscadero Pearl Jeep Wrangler in the state of Minnesota. It is gorgeous. Like, I can't get over it. It's just so pretty. Since you're talking about gorgeous, let's do a quick montage of the vehicle. Or your face. One of the things I absolutely love about the inside of this is how much room you have. You could be the world's tallest human and easily fit in a Jeep Wrangler with a soft top. Now you might not be able to see out the front, but your head's not gonna hit. <laughs> Which is the important part anyways. Yes. So here you got a roll bar and in there you got your two speakers. It makes for great sound quality. You got all your lights in here. Um, if you come down here, this is a little cool thing about a Wrangler. We put this thing, no sponsorship from Lululemon, but uh, it's uh, my wife's key. The key fits right in a little slot there. That's Isn't super that awesome? cool. We got a six speed manual, two high, four high, neutral, four low. You wanna see how you get it into four wheel drive? Sure. Step on the old brake, pull it back. That seems really simple. Four-wheel drive. Easy. How do you get it into first? <laughs> what humor you have. Here you got your media ports. You got a USB-C, a USB-18, an auxiliary port. You got your 12-volt right there. You got uh, another USB-18 down there. Not only do you have one compartment here, you got another compartment right there. It's got a little design in it too, which is neat. It does. These guys, you can put air wherever you want to. That's nice. We got just a little screen here. You got cruise control. Um, we got the old fashioned roll down windows. Do you want to know why we got the old roll down fashion windows? Why did you? Cause it's a Jeep. Why do you need all this fancy stuff with the Jeep? We're going back to basic times. You might ask yourself, if turn five, well you wouldn't ask this because everything we do is a little bit weird, but let's just pretend you see our review video and you wonder to yourself, self, why is there brand new Tuscadero Pearl Jeep Wrangler JL the 2021 edition, first of its kind in Minnesota, will always be the first of its kind in Minnesota, dirty. Well, because it's off-road behemoth. I mean, we aren't driving our normal sports cars. No. Look at what kind of train we are foraging through. It's It's got some snow on it and a little bit of dirt. I mean, this thing is fantastic. Here's one thing to learn about a Jeep, though. Uh, 
especially living in northern Minnesota where we got a lot of slippery conditions, a lot of snow, mm -hmm. if the road is not dry, you almost need to have it in four wheel drive because it is a rear wheel drive vehicle, mm -hmm. completely different than almost, uh, well, the cars that we drive, it's completely different than those. Yeah. So this is just a whole different learning curve. What do you get if you are not turn five and you're driving a Jeep Wrangler for mileage? Combined? 19 miles to the gallon. That's pretty good. And I would say that's fairly consistent. I think that we're averaging in the high 17s. And we're turn five, and we like to use the pedal on the right a little bit harder than some. You want to know what does help fuel economy in the new Jeep JL, which started in 2018? What? The hydroelectric steering rack. You want to know what that means? What does it mean? I don't know. You're going to have to look it up. But what it does practically is it does give you a little bit um, more horsepower because it's not sucking it from the engine and a little bit better fuel economy. That's cool. We opted for the six-speed manual transmission. You can also get an eight-speed. Yep, and the eight-speed is beneficial for off-roading more than the old five-speed that was in the JK because in the JK, your first gear had uh, more drive to it. I don't know the exact specifications. I am not a engineer making transmissions, but I know that it goes slower in first gear on the new JL, and it doesn't provide any negative because it has eight gears, so just reducing the first gear isn't a big deal. And if you are gonna be off-roading with this, I think I would opt for the automatic. If you're not gonna be off-roading for the majority of the time, this to us is like a sports car. You have to get it in a manual. Yes. With it being a manual, gear shifts are nice, it's solid, it's uh, easy to shift, the clutch feel is fantastic, it's peppy. Uh, third gear, going into fourth gear, you're gonna use one through four a lot, you're not gonna use fifth and sixth very often. I use fourth gear driving 60, 65. And why do you not use fifth or sixth generally? They're almost like overdrive gears. You're not getting power. power. The RPMs are under 2,000. And okay. you just don't have that peppiness from the 3.6. Okay. It's definitely different if you haven't driven a Wrangler and you want to get one, I would drive one first. I like the feeling of it. You can see out of it everywhere. It's way different than any other vehicle I've driven. Yeah, yeah, it's pretty crazy. It really is. But it's really fun. It, it's a completely different car. I've never driven a manual SUV. So to drive this as my first manual SUV to drive, it was unique by like, I don't have a word and it's not bad, it's good. So with this, you can tow 3,500 pounds. Yep. It's not a lot, you can't tow a house. It's not like uh, the F-350 that we review that you can tow most of the United States. <laughs> Get a little bit closer to Europe. <laughs> <laughs> or we could just pull Alaska to Russia. <laughs> right, yeah, I mean, we got a lot of options there. This won't do that. Um, I just, I really like it. And if you really want to, you can fold the windshield down. And then you can see the stowage brackets or whatever they would be called technically, where you affix the front windshield down so it doesn't flop. So we'll make another video about some of the tips and tricks a lot of people have, but we'll show you how to take down the top. That's a whole nother video. We'll probably drive it around with the helmets on one day with the, with the windshield down because that's a turn five thing to do. Yep. There's a decent amount of space in the back. We've driven it on several two and a half hour one-way trips. Uh, with actually five people in the car and it has it's been nice the seats are nice here's what we did you go to the Jeep website you order a Jeep the base price is 32 something by des by the time you get to a, even just a destination charge you're at like 35 grand right yep I was ordering this vehicle I knew we wanted Tuscadero Pearl because it's a limited edition color and why not be the most unique guy in right. northern and, Minnesota? And our daughter really, really loves this color. So that's really the main reason. So I click the color. I click the other options I want, like power windows. I click that. Uh, some of the other packages, I clicked everything that I wanted. 
I was 10 or 15 grand above the base price. So me being the shrewd negotiator that I am, I unclicked all those buttons. <laughs> Is that how you negotiate now? Yeah. I'm like, I don't want to pay that 10 to $15,000 <laughs> more. What can you do for me? Oh. So I just unclicked all the buttons. The only option on this Jeep is the color. Yep, and it's by far the best way to have it, in my opinion. No electronics, nothing to break, and pure driving experience with just a manual transmission. I will say the only thing I wish it had was power locks. You're fine. I know it's fine, but that has proven to be a slightly annoying. But honestly, try it out. Like every Jeep that you find on a lot is tricked out. It has yep. all of the doodads. This doesn't, and it is fun. I feel like this is the way that Willys meant a Jeep to be. I agree, 100%. I'm gonna tell you guys to go out and buy one because that's exactly what we did. If you can, I would buy a limited edition color. I think that's fun. Yep. I I personally would get a manual. Uh, I would personally use it as your daily driver to drive. We're gonna take it down to Alabama at, at the end of the month. Yep. Uh, we're not concerned about how it drives at all. It's rougher than a regular SUV, but it's fun. Yep. Smiles per mile is high. I don't know what the EPA rating for that is because the official figure hasn't come out yet. But We're going to have to start a petition to get the EPA to include smiles per mile. Yeah, but it's a lot. It's a lot of smiles per mile. Yes. Uh, so in conclusion, buy one? Uh, yeah. I mean, we did. So if we did it, you, you should do it. definitely need to do it. Thanks for sticking with us. Thanks for having fun with us. Thanks for subscribing. Thanks for liking. Thanks for doing an awkward high five. And if you haven't done any of those things, do them all. Do them all right now. Make sure we're still doing the old pyramid scheme. Uh, so keep it going and make sure you guys have fun. You continue to drive, you order a Wrangler and you let us know your experience. Thank you and good night.